All right. What do you think the feminine hero journey is? Do you believe females have their own archetypal story to follow? Well, yes, they certainly do. I think the, the first of all, they have the hero story like men do. But I think I think the the classic hero story. If imagine it this way, the classic hero story is the archetypal male story, with with the feminine lurking in the background. Because like men are adventurous heroes, all things considered, fundamentally. But they're also very maternal. Like men take care of children, families for very long periods of time. So as far as um, if you think about this from a purely biological perspective, human males are very maternal. So both males and females have a, an a aspect to them that's archetypally masculine and archetypally feminine. And I would say in the typical male, the archetypally masculine dominates with the archetypally feminine in the background. And in the typical female, it's the reverse. And so, although there might be some variation in that, you know, you, you get the relatively rare female who's more archetypally male in their orientation to the world and you get the relatively rare male who is more archetypally female feminine so the dragon the conflict with the dragon is the archetypal male story go out confront the dragon get the gold bring it back to the community rescue the virgin uh uh ennoble the community why make yourself wise as a consequence of the adventure and develop your character that's a great story um the archetypal feminine narrative at least to some degree is beauty and the beast which is to encounter the monstrous masculine and to tame and civilize it so that there so that a joint relationship can be established that's part and parcel of the development of long term intimacy and that would be partly for the purposes of intimacy which is particularly important to people say who are high in agreeableness and women are higher in agreeableness but also as the platform for um for raising children successfully now you get a male variant of that which is one of the male variants of of the same story that uh eric neumann in particular talked about he was a Jungian commentator he wrote a book called origins and history of consciousness which i would highly recommend that's on my list of recommended readings and another one called the great mother another brilliant book uh neumann talked about something called the crystallization of the anima from the great mother archetype and so you might say that that men who've been dominated by women, a young boy who's been dominated by his mother, for example, or a man for, for who, who for some reason is dominated and intimidated by the idea of the rejecting feminine. And if you're interested in that idea, you could watch a documentary called Crumb. You'll see exactly what I mean by dominated by the archetypal rejecting feminine. I've never seen a better example of it that that then then what's laid out in that documentary crumb it's a brilliant documentary so the female is a hostile judge and very critical of men the feminine speaking archetypally and so the man has to steal himself to face that rejection to develop his character just like uh bill murray does in groundhog day exactly the same story and then free the individual woman with whom he has a relationship from the archetypal judgmental feminine. So that's like the male version of Beauty and the Beast. And so then, and, and the female version, obviously, of the hero archetype is the fact that women do have a heroic role to play in the world as well, because they confront the unknown just like men do and garner um, wisdom, knowledge, riches as a consequence. But the way I look at it is that, well, for females, the feminine archetype is at the forefront and the masculine at the background, and, and it's reversed for men. So that's, that's how it looks to me.